Hey everyone, and welcome to Wicode, where in this video, we're going to learn how to configure an HTTPS server with Nginx. We're going to add an SSL certificate to an Nginx HTTP server. We're going to generate an SSL certificate with OpenSSL. And we will also learn what the Nginx SSL certificate and SSL certificate key directives are. So, to change an HTTP server to an HTTPS server, we need to add encryption and verification. This is done through the tls TLS or SSL protocol. To begin, let's redirect traffic from port 80 to port 443. HTTP typically runs on port 80, while HTTPS typically runs on port 443. We can redirect traffic with Nginx using the return directive. We'll also rename the server name to localhost and remove any unnecessary information. Also, this is just simply the default Nginx file inside sites available which then we will we have a symbolic link to the site's enabled directory. Specifically, the return directive here can be used to change part of the URL in a client request. The 301 status code means permanently moved and indicates that the requested resource has been moved to the URL we provide. The URL will be HTTPS, localhost, and then request URI. Note how the protocol is being moved from HTTP to HTTPS. Request URI is an Nginx variable that represents the original URI in the request. The variable server name has the server name of the virtual host that processed the request. Here, this is local host. Now, let's reload Nginx with the new configuration and make a curl to localhost 80. What we will get back is a 301 moved permanently response. So we can see we get some HTML back indicating that it's 301 and move permanently. So now let's work on creating an SSL certificate. So an SSL certificate verifies that a website has an encrypted connection. When a website uses SSL, there will be an SSL certificate associated with it. Before we generate an SSL certificate, let's create a directory to store it in. We'll call this directory SSL. And now let's generate a self-signed certificate. So as a side note, a self-signed certificate should not be used in production as they are not validated by a certificate authority. We can generate a self-signed certificate with the OpenSSL rec command. So, the OpenSSL rec command is a certificate generating utility. This, da this um, dash x509 flag outputs a self-signed certificate instead of a certificate request. The nodes flag will make it so the private key is not protected. The dash days flag specifies the number of days the certificate is valid before expiring. This new key flag creates a certificate request in private key. It is generating an RSA key 4096 bits in size. The dash key out flag accepts a file name to write the created private key to. And finally, this dash out flag accepts a file name to write the output to. Here, this is the certificate. And I'm just gonna enter in all the default information. Of course, all of that will be placed inside our certificate. And now let's work on adding the private key and certification to Nginx. So what we'll do is create an HTTPS server on port 443 and add the generated certificate and private key to it.
So to create an HTTPS server, we have to include the SSL parameter to the listen directive and specify the location of the SSL certificate and private key. The SSL certificate directive accepts a file with an SSL certificate in PEM format. PEM stands for Privacy Enhanced Mail and is a file format for storing cryptographic, cryptographic keys, certificates, things like that. The SSL certificate key directive accepts a file with a private key in PEM format. We can also use the directive's SSL protocols and SSL ciphers to limit connections to using specific versions of ciphers or SSL-TLS, but for this video, we are sticking with default values that Nginx provides. So let's save this and let's reload Nginx. Seems like we had a problem. Let's check what this problem is by doing sudo system CTL status Nginx. Seems like on line 18 in default, we have an unexpected curly brace. Let's see what this could be. And it is because we forgot to add some semicolons. Let's try this again. That was successful. And now let's make a curl to localhost 80 and see what we get. However, we can see that we still get this moved permanently response. And the reason for this is actually because of curl. So curl doesn't automatically follow redirects. To follow a redirect with curl, we have to provide a dash L argument. And now we can see we followed the redirect Specifically, it talks about a self-signed certificate problem, or in other words, the security issues with self-signed certificates. However, if we want to ignore the potential security issues with a self-signed certificate, we can tag on dash insecure to curl. Sorry, dash dash insecure. And once again, we can see what is served up is this index um, HTML file. And of course, this is following the redirect, but if we just do a regular curl to port 443, we actually get a bad request. And I forgot this is because we have to tag on HTTPS to localhost if we're doing 443. So HTTPS dash dash, and now run it. And we can see we get the welcome to Nginx. If we get rid of this insecure flag, we will get a warning about a self-signed certificate. But so this is my video on configuring an HTTPS server with Nginx. If you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments. I'll try and get back to you. Besides that, I want to thank you for liking and subscribing today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Have a good one.